Today's May 4th and May is just rolling in with a lot of wonder. I don't know about you, but it has been a beautiful unfolding and things are falling in place. We just got to continue to get out of the way. So this morning I was going to pull just one, but of course I let spirit guide me and two came out and I was going to be content with that. And then I said, all right, are we ready? And a third one pulled out. So we have the lynx, the deer, and the dragonfly. All of them are powerful, of course. And with the lynx being here, that's to help us understand how powerful we are, our personal power. It's also to help us really be open to those gifts that we maybe haven't been exploring enough yet. Those beautiful things we have forgotten about ourselves, those lost treasures. This is also a time where some pretty powerful things might come out around those people that you love, those people around you. And it's easy during those times to be reactive, but we're being asked not to be reactive. We're being asked to let this time unfold and stay in that dear medicine, warm and caring. Letting ourselves be in that space of gentleness and healing from that place of love of self, love of others. Stop pushing so hard to bring change in. Stop pushing so hard to get others to change. Let people be who they are, love them as they are, and love yourself. Let the gentleness come in. That doesn't mean we don't look at our blind spots, but sometimes the blindest spot is that area that we have not yet spent time healing. So this is a time to let yourself solve a problem from that place that great spirit from that place that great spirit wants us to be in. Wisdom, gentleness. And then the beautiful dragonfly, the number 27, which is the number nine, which is about endings, letting things go. Dragonfly is bringing in new visions, letting the old illusions just slip away. This is a time for change. And if we feel a need for change, then we have to use the Lynx medicine and open up to what the, that new is with unconditional love and kindness, not force. And being open to not seeing things from that sense of illusion, but seeing things from that sense of big sky vision change. It's the winds of change. And in order to really connect to the winds of change, we want to be open to wisdom and enlightenment. And that's when we are flying high. So have a beautiful May 4th. Enjoy your new, so much new. And may this, this day bring in lots of great juju.